now, in, in the end of time, it, when when the world may come to a close, and it will, and it will. <laughs> I have no <laughs> doubt about this. Uh, right, right. Okay. What what is the the view in Islam? How that will uh, come to pass? So that, so that everybody can know, they, they need to make well, decisions. We, as Muslims, mm -hmm. being taught mm -hmm. and informed by our Prophet, peace be upon him, about the signs of the day of judgment. Right. That's what we call the end of time. Mm -hmm. We have minor signs and major signs. Mm -hmm. All the minor signs are gone and finished. Right. And we are waiting for the major signs. Mm -hmm. You know, one of them that nobody can deny, nobody can. We all know that the sun rises from the east, the east and sits in the west. Mm -hmm. As a sign of that end of time, the, Allah will command the sun to rise from the west wow. and sits from the east. Wow. Okay. That, that'd be I'm going to give you only sign. one sign because <laughs> they, it will take a couple right. hours right. to really talk about right. Right. the rest of the signs, the major signs. Right. But a sign that it is clear to everyone, nobody can deny. Right. You know. Yeah. And the end of time is coming and it's not gonna be too long. Okay. You know. Right. What is happening in the world right now, these are signs. Okay. And uh, in, 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 at that time when, when that happens is uh, where Christians would have a, uh, a Lord come. Uh, uh, you talk about the Messiah. Yeah, yeah, the Messiah. One of the now major signs. Mahadi one here. of the major signs that Jesus, peace be upon him, as we Muslims believe, he is not dead. Right. Correct. We believe right. he was uplifted by Allah when the Jews wanted to kill him and crucify him. Right. Allah made the look-alike, and they did crucify the look-alike, but him personally was uplifted to the heaven right. by Allah, and he will come back in Damascus and a menorah of a mosque up there mm -hmm. and he will be at the time of Mahdi mm -hmm. and he will be a Muslim he will not be a prophet they that worship the dragon which gave power unto the beast the dragon in the scriptures uh, says that old dragon who was Satan who was in the garden and things like that this dragon gives power unto the beast and they worship the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? Right now, we believe that Jesus, peace be upon him, is a prophet. But at the time that he will come, he will, he will come as a Muslim. And he will pray behind the Mahdi. And he will kill the Antichrist. Jesus, yeah. peace be upon him, will yeah. kill the Antichrist. And he will kill him in a place in Palestine. And the king shall do according to his will, and he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the god of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation be accomplished, for that that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the god of his fathers. See, the god of his fathers was Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's God, who was Yahweh. So some say that the Muslim faith, Allah, is not the same God of his fathers. Nor the desire of women. See, the desire of women was Sharia law. Women are placed below the family pet. Nor regard any God, for he shall magnify himself above all. But as... as uh, his estate shall he honor the god of fortresses, and jihad is the god of Allah is the god of fortresses. He's the god of jihad. And a god whom his fathers knew not shall he honor with gold and silver. See, all Muslims uh, once a year give a part of their gold and silver 
for uh, the jihadist cause and uh, you know in to the Muslim faith and to advance the kingdom for uh, to establish Sharia law around the globe and with precious stones and pleasant things thus shall he do in the most strongholds with a strange God whom he shall acknowledge and, and increase with glory see every time they have a victory they're advancing the kingdom for Allah with jihad and the glory of that kingdom. And he shall cause them to rule over many and shall divide the land for gain. It's concerning Israel. Okay. Okay. And uh, I know that, that the Bible says, uh, the Christian Bible says that Israel would be a burdensome stone to the whole world in the last days. And, and it looks to be kind of the case when it when it comes to the things that UN talks about it, they they spend more time uh, dealing with what's going to happen concerning Israel than any other uh, uh, subject that comes up at the UN and uh, so it seems to be a, a, a huge uh, burden on the world burdensome stone to say, the way the scripture would say it now when it when it comes to Israel what what is your view of what's going on there and what should happen and what will happen, if you don't mind? I firmly believe, I personally firmly believe that there is going to be peace in the Middle East. Okay. After that, how long is going to be? I don't know. But before the Day of Judgment, the peace will end. Right, yeah. And a big battle will happen. Right. Yeah. That's, that's that. not my view now. Right. I want you to know that's not my view. Right. If you want, I can grab the book that's sitting up there and read from it to you, you to confirm that it is not me who's saying, right, it right. is our prophet, peace be upon him, right, right. who's right. saying the day, the end of time will not commence right. till there is a battle of Armageddon the kind of between the, the Jews and the Muslims. He right. did not say the Arabs. He did not say the Middle East, he said right. the Muslims. Right. And the Muslims will win. The Muslims will win the battle. Right. But when would it would happen? And I promise you, and I say it with confidence, 80 if not 90% of the Jews, they know that, and they know this Sunnah that I told right. you, the Hadith, the saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Right. They know it. Yeah, and, and, and Christian doctrine has the same thing, that there, there would be a peace treaty the seven years and then at the middle of it says the time I'm not the, concerned the, about but or, or, yeah, anything, long, anything that, that our prophet peace right. be upon him said right. it's gonna happen why because he does not speak of, speak of his own right. his only revelation or inspiration from Allah what what do you think the battle would would be over what well, I mean well see, I, like I, I said I, it's I, far I, from I, now I mean it concerns because me so we have not seen thing. the peace first right. we have to see right. the peace first right. I mean that that, I hope that, that bothers me more than anything in, in a way is that to think that there ha that has to happen, and uh, you yeah, know you know what I mean because because it's like let I, me I, ask you is there anything that happens in the face of the earth without being decreed by Allah in the right, heaven? Yeah, right, right. So if Allah ordained this to happen, we have no choice in the matter. You know, right. we yeah, have no I, choice. Yeah, I agree. I mean, yeah. it's in the scriptures. It's he decided. Yeah. The decision been made by Allah. By the, who's the decision maker? Right. You know, whether we like it or not. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's me yeah. and you. I didn't, I didn't really me know. and you and every yeah. human being. Yeah. We should do the things that's pleasing to Allah, so we can earn His pleasure, so we can live happy in this life, and we can go to heaven when we go back to Him. Right. That's my motive. Yeah. I, I mean, know, at the what? meantime, I don't only care about myself. Yeah. I care about every human being. For to be happy in this life and to go to paradise when they buy it. And the choice is theirs. Right. You know, if they take me seriously, they'll listen and they do. And if they don't, at least I convey the message. But I have no sword or gun or anything to force anybody. Because in Islam, there's no compulsory. You cannot compulse anyone, right. any human being to become a Muslim. My job right now is to show the humanity the real Islam. Then the rest up to them. But not to force them, not to twist their arms, not right. to, you know, to do anything. Yeah. You know, it, it, and uh, I mean that the, the same story is in in, in Christianity when it concerns I Israel. Mm -hmm. um, now, 
that you, there would be you know a peace thing like you said yes, but when yeah. when you see peace the the, the the Christian scriptures say that that when you see you see it for that, seven years it's gonna be the peace yeah and then the treaties broke half yeah. halfway through and then you know it, it culminates Probably in a battle yes. you know in a huge battle and and uh and so so you're you're you see the same thing that that's I don't happen. see this I've been right. taught Right. Yeah, I've been that, told. Yeah, right, I don't and, personally. And, and, you see, because I, forgive me, my brother. Sometimes people, when I say Allah said or Muhammad said, they say Mr. Shalash said. I don't want this yeah. to happen. You know, I'm not saying. I'm not putting my personal views. I'm telling you, I can read from the book for you and and show you that our Prophet peace be upon him. He said exactly what I'm telling you that the day of judgment will not commence. Think there is a big battle that happened between the Muslims and the Jews, and and, and, and he gave and, the the expected, or he already said the result will be the Muslims will be victorious. It, is that battle in the, in in the uh, Quran? Is that does that take it's place? It's in the Hadith, and I said the Hadith, uh, in the Hadith, okay. in the Hadith. Okay. and the Hadith, like I told you, it's either revelation or inspiration. Okay, you know, because the Prophet peace be upon him does not speak of anything of his own desire. And that and that battle takes place. Does it also take place in the valley of Megiddo uh, in the Quran, or does, does it, it has say? to? It has to take place in the Middle East, where Israel right. is. Yeah, somewhere there. You know, what does it matter, see, really? That's you know, the, right. the peace of treaty. When he says between the Muslims and the Jews, right now the Jews are scattered all over the world. But believe me, when there is a peace of treaty, they will all gather in Palestine. Right. Yeah. And and, and uh, you are a man. You you, according to to. Uh, the the writings that you read, yes. the M Muslims win that. Yes. I mean, there's another uh, side to that that says that they don't. I mean, you. you well, I, I, I mean, you know, I'm not. Well, I, I just said, know, that's. I, mean, that's I, the I just want to say that. I'm not saying that. If they <laughs> Look, say, it, I don't, want, they don't, I don't want anyone. I don't want no wars. You know, I don't. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't believe in wars and killing well, people. Well, I, I respect. But if it happens, it's happened. You know, I'm just telling you the truth. Telling you what the Prophet peace be upon him said. You know. Yeah, uh, in, well, you know, so, a lot of times I, I'm watching the news. Many people will never tell you this. Right. No, no, yeah, they, they think it's. They, uh, I hear. I hear. Let's all. Will not tell you, but I'm not afraid to say yeah. it. Uh, yeah, you right, know, because right, I'm not right, saying right. it. I'm only right. quoting. You're saying what you believe is true. Because oh, well, I'm quoting, and I right, believe right. in every word that he said. The prophet. Right, yeah. Part of my belief yeah. is to believe him, is to follow him, right. to look like him, right. to to live your life like him, and to think like him. And he always think peace, peace, peace. Right. He continuously thinking, continuously worrying about how each and every human being go to paradise. That was his yeah. main concern. Yeah. Okay, here's God. He's saying, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel. Now this land is Israel what he's talking about here this this inherited land this heritage because Jesus is going to be king over it at some point whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land now anyone who is involved in parting this land God is going to come into judgment against those nations he said he's going to gather all nations but the good news is, is he says he, he, he brings all, all these nations together. He, he'll gather all the nations and bring them into this valley of Jehoshaphat. And, and, and he says, I will plead with them there for my people and my heritage. So there's going to be a moment in which God, he gives people a chance. It's like, look. He's going to plead with them. And we're going to look a little bit deeper into that part here in a second. And he said, and they have cast lots for my people. Now, these people are going to come against Israel and be so vain about it. They're going to be casting lots about it. And it, and it talks a little bit more language like giving a har uh, boy a, a, for a harlot and selling the girls and stuff like that. Um but it, it looks as if they're kind of gambling for what portion of the battle and just, and, and just kind of just uh, gambling about it and, and casting lots for people even and, and probably even the battles. It's like, no, I want to go over there and, and battle in that certain area because there's going to be a bunch of battles taking place simultaneously. Okay, now we're going to skip on down. Um, 
and you know you can always go read it yourself and I want to show you here it says assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause my mighty ones to come down O Lord uh, let the heathen be awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat for their will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. God's going to be there, and he's going to be ready to judge. Okay, put in, uh, put ye in the sickle, for harvest is ripe. Come, uh, get you down, for the press is full, and the fats overflow, for the wickedness is great. And there's a lot of talk in Revelations about this uh, press, you know, this wine press, and having the uh, symbology of grapes, like he's going to squeeze the juice out of it. Uh, okay, then, then this is the part I really want to, to uh, show you uh, when it comes to God pleading he, up uh, up there at the first part. You notice that he was he pleads with the people about his heritage and his inheritance and in, in Israel and parting the land. He does not want the land parted. Okay, it says multitudes, multitudes. In the valley of decision, for the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. So some people want to say this is something that is past. This is not. This is the day of the Lord is near. This is an end time thing. This is going to happen in the end. Okay, so... There's multitudes and multitudes in this valley. The whole world is gathering uh, together, and they are in a valley of decision. You know how where you, you, you heard of the verse that says, uh, "Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death," you know that those kind of things. Now this is a, a different type of valley that a person uh, will be going through, or these nations will be going through. And this is a multitudes and multitudes of people that are going to be in this valley of decision. And then, and then the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars will withdraw their shining. So you, where else do you see that language other than when Jesus was asked about the end? What will it be like? And he talks about the sun and the moon uh, turn, or the moon being red and the sun being blotted out and, and things like that. Now this is Revelation 16. And I saw three unclean spirits like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the pro false prophet. For the, they are spirits of devils working miracles going forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of God Almighty. Now, there's spirits of devils that have gone out to go gather kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather to this battle. The great day of God Almighty. So, when we look at each of these scriptures, you start seeing a little bit of similarity. And I, and I noticed that this is symbolic in nature in the way that it speaks. But when we talk about the beast, it's a it's a system, okay? And 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 it's got to be an antichrist system. It has to be a belief system that denies Christ. The Bible says if you deny the Father and the Son that you are antichrist, it means you're against Christ as being the Son of God. And I I'm, I try to say that as gently and lovingly as I can, you know. But I have to tell the truth. Behold, I come as a thief. A thief. You don't know when a thief is coming. Blessed is he that watcheth. That's what we're doing right here and right now. We are watching. We are looking at this stuff and trying to figure this out, and keepeth his garments. Basically, your garments, uh, you remember when the angel of the Lord said, I rebuke you, when they were disputing over uh, Mo the body of Moses, and it says, the Lord rebuke you, I, I clothe him in my righteousness, because the, he, the, uh, 
that unclean spirit or that uh, devil, the accuser of the brethren, was saying, look at his garments, look how filthy he is. He was saying, you know, look how, look at it, he's got sin, he sinned, and he, his garments are filthy. And that's always symbolic of the sins in your life. So, if you keepeth your garments, you're, you're keeping in the Lord, lest he walk naked, and they see his shame. Okay, now, let's look at this right here. And he gathered them together in a place called, in the Hebrew tongue, Armageddon. Now, this word Armageddon, he said right here, the, the, the uh, New Testament was written in Greek. So this is the Greek word. He said this place that he gathers them to in the Hebrew tongue is called Armageddon. Now, if you look in the Old Testament, what this word would be, it is a word that would mean mountain of assembly. It's a mountain of assembly. And you notice in these... Uh, in, in a lot of the language, when these people are gathered together, they're gathered to the mountains of Israel. But this this word right here, the, in the Hebrew, there wouldn't have been a G. That guttural sound, that, that, that sound is the G. So, to transliterate this into the Greek, they used a G, but it, w it would be harmageddon. And that uh, what we looked at earlier... I'm telling you, there's some kind of link here, but this this uh, this word right here um, in the Hebrew tongue would mean mountain of assembly. So he's gathered all of these people to this mountain of uh, assembly, uh, uh, where it's the uh, valley of decision, and and uh, all these people will be making a decision, and it's a, it, it will be the most crucial decision for all the nations to make, I believe. And individually, this here is the most crucial decision, keeping your garments. Something that's very curious that Paul said was about this stone. And some people liken it to what's at Mecca, the stone that's in the corner of the square box in uh, Mecca. And when the town clerk had appeared, the people, he said, ye men of Ephesus, what man is there that knoweth not how that this city of Ephesus is a worshiper of the great goddess Diana and of the image which fell down from Jupiter? So but there was this uh, stone that some of them called Artemis that fell down out of the heavens. And some people are saying that that same stone was worshipped and it is now been moved and put into the corner of that box. And it's the same black stone. I don't know for sure, but it is a curious thing that it is referred to as an image here and could this be some type of image when you march around this thing you are supposed to kiss the stone and it takes away your sins after you circle this thing in Mecca.